Hi everybody! Welcome back to Cantonese food recipes. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make my protein-packed egg bubble waffle. So let's get to the recipe. So over here, as you can see, uh, I'm, I'll be blending up uh, blending up some ingredients. So over here, I first added in 300 moles of full cream milk. And then now I'm cracking in about three whole eggs. The the milk will the full cream milk has your good has your good fats and it has good protein in it and the milk is also packed with calcium for your bones. And the eggs contain your fats, healthy fats and yeah, also a high amount of protein. Okay, now I'll be adding in. Now I'll be adding in 100 grams of oats. The oats uh, has your good carbs and also it's high in protein and also high in fiber. Okay, adding in 100 grams of oats. This recipe is very easy to make as you will see in this video. Okay, and over here I have a whey protein powder, a high quality whey protein powder by Optimum uh, Nutrition. So I'll be adding in about two scoops, which is uh, 60 grams. So I'm measuring it here, about 60 grams of whey protein powder. And this whey protein powder is a vanilla flavor. Okay. Okay. Now I'll be uh, adding in two whole bananas also packed with good uh, carbs and potassium and fiber. Okay, once the bananas are added, um, I, I think there was like uh, too much dry ingredients, so I added in another 100 moles of full cream milk. So the total milk amount was uh, 400 moles. As you can see, these uh, egg bubble waffles is very healthy and also tastes taste very delicious. Like after you eat it, you won't get like a sugar crash like all these other waffles. And yeah, it also helps to heal your body after workouts. And also good, it's a good snack come home from work. It's better than eating your chips and your fries and all that. And all that stuff, and it also fills you up. Okay, once um, once that is blended up on high speed, uh, over here I got some uh, cake flour. I'm first adding in uh, two two hundred uh, grams of cake flour or all-purpose flour. And then you're just going to pour in your blended mixture and just whisk it up. And then uh, once it's whisked up, and if you see that it's too wet, not like uh, it needs to be a bit thick, so you you can just add a bit more of cake flour. So it was in total was about two hundred forty grams of uh, cake flour that was added. It depends on your mixture. So yeah, so just whisk that up. And then once it's whisked up, uh, you can you can just uh, preheat your egg bubble waffle uh, machine. Once it's preheated on high, you can spray it with some uh, olive oil, and then just gonna scoop scoop into the machine and just uh, let it cook for about four to five minutes.
Okay, you can see I'm whisking the the batter up. Oh yes, and as you can see, I also uh, drizzled a bit of olive oil into the batter. Yeah, just give that a quick whisk, and you should be ready for the for the egg bubble waffle machine. Okay, we preheat the egg bubble waffle machine here. This brand of egg bubble waffle is from Hager. So once it's preheated, we spray it with some olive oil so that it won't stick to the machine afterwards. So this was my first attempt making this recipe. So I first added in one scoop to test it out. So after five minutes, it looks like this. So yeah, it wasn't that pretty, the first, uh, the first waffle. But then uh, afterwards, I knew that you had to add for my machine. It had to I had to add in uh, one and a half scoops of uh, batter, and then it came out uh, nicely, as you will see in the next clip. Okay, this is the second uh, waffle. This is uh, one and a half scoops of uh, of the batter, and as you can see, looks very beautiful. Look at that. This recipe can make about 8 to 10 waffles. So yeah, and then afterwards, uh, once you make it, you can uh, store it up in the fridge. And then when you want to eat it, uh, you just pop it into your air fryer and just air fry it for about 3 minutes and then it becomes crispy again. So yeah, look at how beautiful that is. Thanks guys for watching.